Hello everybody, welcome to another video in the 100% Full Marks Exam Answers series. We're still looking at AQA English Language Paper 1, Question 5. Now last week we looked at an answer which got 40 out of 40 and we're going to continue to look at that answer today. I should have told you the school that sent in that piece of work. It's Epping St. John's. So thank you to Epping St. John's School for sending that in, a fantastic piece of work. And again today we're looking at the same piece. But we're going to do something slightly different today. Rather than me talk through why I think this part of the answer is so good, I want you to study the work. You can do this as a class if you're watching this in school or you can do it you know, at home on your own. And I want you to reflect and analyse the piece of work and put a comment in the comments section trying to pick out the things that make this so good. And there might be sort of five or six or more things that, that are so good about this part of the answer. And then read the other comments people have written and give a thumbs up to the ones you think identify uh, really well why this student got full marks. So this is just part of the answer. I never show a whole full marks answer because I know some of you will be doing this paper for your mocks and I don't want to encourage, you know, sort of saying just copy this answer. But um, I do want to encourage you to think about answers that get full marks because there's something so useful about actually looking at an answer that did get full marks in a real exam rather than kind of saying I think you should do this this and this let's have a look at what this student did in the corner of the bus a young mother clasped her younger daughter holding her close sharing a heartbeat yin and yang they were both covered in thick I Love London hoodies and appeared to speak in a foreign language far away from home. They both stared across at the same time to a small gathering of homeless people, the ash from their nearly perished cigarettes dropping to the ground as the bus aquaplaned across a puddle, sending a minuscule tsunami towards the wanderers' sleeping bags. They didn't care. They just closed their eyes and let their blankets engulf them, the putrid water soaking into the cheap cotton. It could have been worse. So pause the video, think about what's good about this answer. This is just part of the answer, but the whole answer got 40 out of 40. And let me tell you, if you can get full marks in paper 1, question 5, and paper 2, question 5, it's going to massively improve your overall grade. And do remember to check out Mr. Bruff's Guide to English Language, available in paperback on Amazon, ebook at mrbruff.com, and Kindle edition on Amazon as well. It contains lots of advice on how to answer these questions. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Read the comments. Let's see what you guys can pick up.